Hey everybody, Bethany here, AKA The Tri Mama. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys baby products that I deem perfect for that minimalist lifestyle. If you are a minimalist, then you're gonna love this video. So watch all the way to the end. Go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and leave a comment down below. Let me know which items I got you to add to your baby registry. With that said, let's get into the video. Baby product number one muslin swaddles you guys these things can be a swaddle a blanket a birth cloth it can be a car seat cover it can be a breastfeeding cover just kind of tuck it into my bra straps and boom i'm covered these things have so many purposes i'm not gonna mention like brands because I don't really have a favorite brand. You can go ahead and pick whatever brand you like. And they come in different price ranges for like a pack of three for like $30 all the way to a pack of three to like $100. It just depends on the material, the brands, like what you guys prefer for your babies. They come in so many prints, so many options, so cute. You can get custom ones off Etsy. You can get obviously from Amazon, Target, Baby, Bye Bye Baby. Anywhere that sells baby products, you can find a muslin swaddle that you'll like. Another item I think would be really great is a swing slash bouncer combo. It's by Graco. Uh, it's really fantastic because it's a swing, first of all, and then the seat that the baby's in is actually a bouncer. So you can like detach it and then walk around the house with a bouncer. Like you need to go to the kitchen, go to the bathroom. I don't know, walk upstairs. You can bring the baby along with you very easily and you know he has a, he or she has like a safe little area that they can you know bounce in which is perfect and then when your baby wants to go back onto the swing or if you just want to put your baby on the swing you just snap it right back in like snap 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 i love my baby swing i really do but this one you guys is like a level up from my swing because it has a bouncer already built in so and i think it's like 10 bucks cheaper than my Fisher Price swing, so hey, win-win. This next item I did talk about in my baby regrets video. This was not a regret. This was something I thought was really cool and I wish I opted out for if I would have known this product existed before I had my first two kids. It is a, it's kind of like a pack and play. I don't believe the brand is pack and play, but I'll go ahead and link it again. It has a bassinet attached to it and also has like a diaper station that literally like flips up and flips down. So in the middle of the night, you can just flip it up, put your baby on it, change a diaper, flip back down, put them in the bassinet, and you're you're good to go at nighttime. Also, the side comes down and it slides flush to your bed. So you can like literally reach in and fill your baby. Like you don't have to get up out of bed to look over a wall and check on your baby. It's it, They're just flush to your bed, which is really awesome. Again, I like the fact that it's flush. It has a diaper station already built onto it. It has a bassinet. Uh, when they get older, they can use it like as a pack and play. So, you know, it's it's an all-in-one combo. If you wanna like avoid having a crib and a bassinet, this is all in one. So I would get this. Maybe for baby number three, I will purchase this product and test it out and see if it's as epic as it is in my mind. Sorry you guys, this video is like a little scattered. I don't really have a system to it. So bear with me. I'm just like going off a list that I wrote down on my phone. If you don't wanna get a whole bunch of baby clothes, I totally understand. I recommend just getting onesies, zip up onesies that zip from the bottom to the top and vice versa. And maybe he already has built-in mittens. Um, if you're tall, your husband's tall, like my husband's really tall. I would recommend getting onesies that are that have no feet on it. So your baby has more wearable time in these clothes. And then this product I'm gonna mention is a must have. And I wish I put this in my must haves video. Um, I did not because the audio kind of, the audio was not good when I talked about this product, but it's the Hatch Baby. This sound machine is amazing. It has a nightlight. You can control everything from your phone. It has, you just download the app. Um, you can control the colors, the sounds. You can control the settings, the volume, uh, the time. You can actually like set a preference. Like you prefer this color with this sound in the morning so your baby knows, oh, it's morning time, wake up. Or another color with a different sound for bedtime, you, you just make it your own and what works for you and for your baby. I also believe that a baby monitor and a baby pulse ox is a must have, whether you are minimalist or not. This in my eyes is 100% necessary. 
especially if you're a first time parent. This will just, you know, calm you down, give you some ease at night. I know it did for me and I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen for you guys. So you can go ahead and pick whatever monitor is best for your budget, but the monitor that I recently got sent to me was the Bebcare baby monitor and I 100% would recommend that baby monitor if it's in your guys' price range. I will have that link down below for you guys. So just click on that link and you know, read everything all about it. Maybe it'll be for you guys, maybe. Let me know if you guys purchased it, put it in the comments. And for the pole socks, again, get whatever fits in your guys' budget. Um, all these products that I mentioned, I did own. If you watch my baby must have video, I go into more detail on each individual product. And I would totally tell you guys to buy a pole socks for your baby. It will save you. It will save you at nighttime. So you're not like constantly waking up worrying, is my baby breathing? the thing will alarm you. Like if your baby is not breathing, baby flipped over, it will let you know. Again, watch my baby must have video and also watch my Beb Care baby camera review. If you're a parent that is choosing to use a binky for your baby, I'm telling you right now, don't buy it. Go and watch my video on how to get free baby products because you can get like every type of binky for free pretty much right now. So watch that video so you can get free products. But if you do want to have a binky, have the binky and I really like the advent binkies for my second baby. Um, he enjoyed that. I actually didn't have to buy it. It came in my little, my little gift bags. Like, here you go. You're pregnant. Here's your gift bag of free baby products. And it worked out great. He liked it. I actually did purchase a little, um, it looks like a woman up, but it's not a woman up. It's actually by advent. I'll link that down below. They're so cute, but you can put two different types of binkies on it and it helps your Binky not get lost. So I mean, if, you're, if your kid's gonna be a binky baby, get them something that they won't lose their binky with. There's a chair that I really enjoyed for my baby. Um, oh, I forgot the name of it. Just slipped my mind. I'll, I'll have it linked for you guys. But it is a like two-in-one chair. It's almost like a, a Boomba or Bomba chair. Bomba, 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 -dum -ba -ba -ba. Um, Anyways, it's like one of those chairs, but you can use it for a lot longer. Um, if you don't have room for a high chair, you can go ahead and just like get one of these little like chair attachments. It just goes right onto your table, um, table chair, bar stool chair, like whatever you can attach it to. It just goes right onto it. And I like how everything comes apart. It's very easy to clean. You just pop everything off, do a quick rinse or just wipe it down with a baby wipe. Sometimes I just do that, but it has a little like a slot where you can stick the tray in. So you don't have to like you know, find another place to put the tray. Like the tray literally can go underneath of it and it's totally hidden and, but you know where it's at. So it's another way to make your baby feel like a part of the family. They're sitting up high on the table with you guys. I did have a high chair that was like $22 from Ikea. I mean, it's great and all for $22 is, it's a good bargain. Um, the thing I didn't like about having that is it's quite low to the ground and then it doesn't like fold up where you can like hide it somewhere. It would just be out and about. So I really like this. I can just put my baby into it, slide him up to the table if I wanted to and he's eating right with the whole family. And another uh, thing that you can do that's very minimalist is breastfeeding if you choose to or if you can. Um, Again, it will save you a lot of money. You don't have to buy formula. If you're going to breastfeed or pump, you will need a hands-free pump, um, like a Haka or just like the Medela, like hand pump ones. So you wire out on the go. You can get some milk out just to release, you know, any engorgement. That's what I'm looking for. Oh my God. Um, yeah, engorgement because that is not fun to deal with you guys. That is not fun. So a hand pump would be great. I had the Medela one. Um, I actually did have the Haka too, but if I was out and about, I would prefer the hand pump. Like it actually gets a lot more out. The Haka is great for um, your letdown. So if you're breastfeeding on one side, you can put the Haka on the other and catch all the extra milk that's coming out of the opposite breast. You can get a breast pump through your insurance. So contact your insurance and find out which one that you can, you know, snag from them. I would recommend getting the Medela breast pump because that one I found very similar to the one that they gave me in the hospital that I rented for about six months. Uh, it's, it's great. 
If you're somebody that wants to splurge a little bit on the breast pump and maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe insurance will cover an LV pump. I'm not sure. I cannot speak about Willow. I never used it, but the LV I found very convenient, um, especially after having a second baby. Like I'm chasing a toddler around and trying to hold the baby so I can just put in the LV pumps and just walk around and just like pump like crazy. So that was great. But for the purpose of this video, if you had to choose one, I would pick the Medela over the LV uh, just because you can get so much more milk out with the Medela versus the LV. Bottles. I do not recommend purchasing any bottles. Um, you, if you watch again that video of how to get free baby stuff, you're gonna get so many bottles. Like so many bottles, you guys. So uh, that's one less thing that you have to purchase. And on top of that, you don't even know which bottle your baby's gonna like. So get all the free stuff you can get and then find out which bottle works best for you and your baby and then go out and purchase that bottle. For both of my kids, the bottle that worked the best was the Komotomo. So of course I'm gonna recommend that bottle. Uh, maybe if you are gonna start off buying bottles and you don't wanna wash like a whole bunch of times, maybe, I don't know, get six bottles. So you only have to wash maybe once, maybe twice a day. You will also need some breast pads, you guys. Uh, your boobs are gonna be like leaking everywhere. So you can actually purchase reusable breast pads. Um, I found mine on Amazon. I put those in my baby registry. They're 100% cotton. Um, they just catch everything and you just throw them in a wash machine and reuse them so you don't have to like buy a whole box and put them on and toss them in the trash and you know, cycle continues. Last thing when it comes to the feeding category is nipple cream, get it. That will be a necessity, whether it's you're a minimalist or not, like you, you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it, get it. I don't know if you guys can hear my baby crying downstairs. Diaper bags. The diaper bag I had, I've had it for about three years now and it's pretty beat up. Like it's falling apart, you guys. Ooh, but you know, it made it this long for three years. So maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. I didn't go expensive on a diaper bag. It's like my, my diaper bag was like 30 bucks off of Amazon. It's black and gold. And I actually recently came across a new diaper bag that looks very similar to the one that I originally purchased, but it actually has like a like a, what, a bed built in, like a changing station built in, which is awesome. Like instead of you leaving the house with a diaper bag, a if you're a dock -a tot mom, a dock -a tot or a portable playpen, anything like that, you can literally just bring this diaper bag with you and open it up and it's like a little area, a little sleep station for your baby. So it's all in one. I think that's genius. Like where was all this stuff when I was buying for my babies? I didn't have no two in one items maybe they had it and i just i just didn't know two in one you guys two in one so i purchased a diaper caddy that has a zipper lid because i originally purchased this to go into my car to have everything i need for diaper changes blowouts like whatever i wanted it to be in my car i now use this diaper caddy everywhere I take it into my living room. You will also need some diaper cream. I went with the A&D brands. Um, pick whatever brand you like. And I also like this uh, by Oogie Boogie or Boogie Oogie. Or... It's a diaper cream that is in a spray bottle. You just spray it on your baby and uh, there's no mess. It's very straightforward and um, it's perfect for traveling. So you don't have to like stick your finger in some diaper cream or anything like that. So that's something I would keep on hand if I were you guys. Also an essential again are diapers. If you are trying to save money, then you might wanna look into reusable diapers. I personally found that the best diaper for my, me and my family were the Huggies and also the Huggies all natural wipes. So that's everything that I would keep in my bag for diapering. Oh, also I would keep um, an extra onesie or maybe two, one or two onesies just in case there's a nasty blowout and you wanna change your baby. Then you have like quick, easy clothes on hand. Also changing pads. Uh, it's pretty standard that you're gonna need a changing pad for your baby because they're quite messy little humans. Um, I don't recommend purchasing a changing pad because you can get 
changing pads for free. You can get them from all of your little welcome bags or welcome boxes for all these baby registries that you're gonna sign up for. Sign up for all of them, you guys, so you can get the free stuff. Um, pretty much you're going to get, at least when I did it, you, I got a whole bunch of the Pampers uh, changing pads and they worked out perfect. Like, just you just have a changing pad. Uh, keep one in your diaper caddy, keep one in your car, and keep one in your diaper bag because you guys are gonna get a lot of free changing pads from Pampers. So a car seat I would recommend is the Chico Next Fit Zip car seat. I really enjoy that it's a grow with me car seat so you can use it from infancy all the way up until, you know, they are in a booster seat. That's why I liked it. I felt like I'm getting my money's worth uh, for a product like that. Again, it kind of falls in the category of like two in one, three in one like all the other products that I did mention prior to this. But yeah, I would choose the Go With Me car seat, hands down over infant car seats, just because in my opinion, you get your money's worth for that. Especially with your strollers, I prefer to use the bassinet portion of my stroller because I like the look of bassinets and I like that I can use the bassinet as like a on the go changing station. It gives me some extra storage space. Like I can put stuff inside the bassinet. So that's why the Grow With Me car seat did work out because I already knew I was gonna use bassinets with my strollers. And then after the bassinet, I was just gonna use the regular stroller seat. So in my opinion, I would just go with the Grow With Me car seat and a bassinet stroller and you have it, the ultimate setup. Grow With Me car seat, bassinet stroller, I got you. I got all you guys out there. The stroller, again, I cannot stress this enough. Um, the stroller I would recommend is the yo-yo stroller with the um, bassinet attachment to it because you can literally fold it all up with the bassinet like pack on it. Um, you can fold it all up so teeny tiny, even with just the seat portion on it. Uh, I just find this stroller um, to be wonderful. And if you guys want a further in-depth detail of this stroller, just go ahead and watch my um, Baby Zen Yo-Yo Stroller review. I go into more detail there. And I also have a video on how to open and close it. So watch that one too. But after this one, you guys, after this video. Again, this stroller is very compact. Um, it can fit anywhere. So I love this stroller, you guys. I just love it. If you are a, if you're going to have twins, I would go with a stroller that you can use again from infancy all the way up into like 50 pounds. Um, the, I find the side by side strollers really great. I feel like they're very easy to push because the weight is evenly distributed. So I would recommend the Valco Baby Snap Duo Trends. Um, it's a very wonderful stroller. It is infant compatible, like straight from birth. Uh, I do believe you can attach um, an infant car seat to it. I'm not sure if you can attach two to it, maybe just one. Again, I don't use infant car seats, so it works straight from birth, so I really like that. Um, if you want a grow with me stroller, like let's say you already have a toddler and a baby on the way, you might wanna look into the Mockingbird stroller. It's kind of a dupe for the Up A Baby Vista, which is really awesome because the Up A Baby Vista is a pretty nice bougie stroller and the Mockingbird is a fraction of the price, just as bougie and in my opinion might be slightly better because of the basket it doesn't have the bar inside the basket so you have this giant basket that you can use win-win so those are the strollers that i would go with if i was in one of your guys' shoes if i was just going to use a single stroller if i was going to use a double stroller or if i was going to use a girl with me stroller you can use the mockingbird or even the zoe tandem stroller that's pretty cool too uh it's another girl with me stroller and Again, I have a video about that as well. I'll link all those videos down below for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. I know I rambled just a tad bit in this video, but I really hope this video helped you guys out on making the correct decision for your baby and for your lifestyle. Please subscribe to my channel if you already have not. Like this video for the YouTube algorithm because it will greatly help me out. And turn on that bell notification every time. Uh, you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. So. 
subscribe. Until next time.